In this video, we're now going to work with graphs of logarithmic functions. So first I wanna compare the graph of y equals a to the x to y equals log base a of x, keeping in mind that a is a parameter and a can be any value. So when I'm thinking about values, I'm probably gonna use a base two, um, but this will work with any base. The domain of an exponential function, which is the one on the left, this is an exponential function, because you've got, in exponential form, you've got your x in the exponent, right? Over here, this is a logarithmic function on the right, because if I were to rewrite this in exponential form, I would have a y in the exponent, which makes it a log function. So log functions typically we write in log form, and exponential functions we typically write in Exponential form, exponential functions, exponential form, log functions, log form. So graph on the right is a logarithm, I'll say logarithmic, and the one on the left is exponential. The domain of an exponential, let's just go back to that. The domain, that's anything that you can put in for x, and the values that you can put in for x are negative infinity to positive infinity. Our outputs, knowing what this graph looks like, knowing that it has a horizontal asymptote, and it approaches that horizontal asymptote from the left. And then I'm just going to use y equals two to the x as an example to show you that exponential graph. You know that the range goes from, with a parenthesis, zero to infinity. It has a y-intercept at zero, one, and the asymptote is y equals zero, y equals zero. Now the logarithmic graph is going to have a vertical asymptote. And its domain, if we look over here, its domain, remember the argument has to be positive, so it has to be zero to infinity, not including zero. So look at that. The range of the exponential becomes the domain of the logarithmic. And the range, those are your outputs. Now remember, this output is your exponent, right? Your base raised to your exponent equals the argument. So the base raised to the exponent. The exponent can be any real number. So the range is negative infinity to positive infinity. The domain of the exponential becomes the range of the logarithmic. That right there is what defines the fact that these two functions are inverses of one another. So with that in mind, our intercept of 0, 1 is going to become an intercept of 1, 0. And then our asymptote, instead of being a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0, it's going to be a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. So our logarithmic function is going to take each one of these ordered pairs We've got 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 8. And it's going to reverse all the x's and y's. So 1, 0, 2, 1, 4, 2, 8, 3. And then it approaches that vertical asymptote. Just hugs it all the way down to negative infinity. So that's our two functions right there. The function on the left which is an exponential function, is increasing, as is the logarithmic function. It's increasing. Because as x gets bigger, y is also getting bigger. So as x, as x increases, y increases. Now, in two very different ways, because as x increases, y increases very, very quickly on the exponential function. However, as x increases on the log function, it starts to not increase as much, but it is still increasing. And then of course, both of these are continuous. So they're both continuous functions. I can draw them without picking up my pencil. So those are our two, two comparisons, our exponential function versus our logarithmic function. We're gonna sketch the graph of y equals two to the x, and y equals log base two of x. I think I just did that right there, didn't I? 
It kind of did. Um, I think that we've got a pretty good understanding on our two basic functions. So we're going to start right away with changing the base. Let me see, I've got four graphs to deal with. One, two, three, four. Yep. We're going to start with changing the base. So I'm going to graph y equals log base 3 of x. And then after this, we'll work with that function by doing some transformations. So here we're going to graph y equals log base 3 of x, and we know that it's a logarithmic function. So we know that the domain is going to be negative infinity. I'm sorry. We know that the domain is going to be 0 to infinity, and that the range will be negative infinity to positive infinity. So our domain is tied to this argument. And then we're going to have an asymptote that's vertical. So we'll have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can think backwards and most definitely use the log form. But I usually graph y equals 3 to the x, which is the inverse. So I'll graph the exponential because I can put values in for x and y. So when I put a negative 1 in for x, I know I get 1 third out. When I put a 0 in, I get 1. When I put a 1, I get 3. When I put a 2, I get 9. And then I'm going to take those and I'm going to flip them for y equals log base 3 of x, which is the inverse. So I know that my ordered pairs will be 1 third negative 1, 1 0, 3 1, and 9 2. So I've just taken this ordered pair, flipped it, taken this ordered pair, flipped it, and so on and so forth. So 1 third negative 1 would be right about there, 1 0, that's an intercept, 1 0, and 3 1, and then 9 2. And there's our parent function, y equals log base 3 of x. And then from there, we're going to be able to sketch different graphs. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to tell you what those graphs are. And then in the next video, I'm going to come back and graph them all. So y equals or f of x equals log base 3 of x plus 1. So that's going to be a shift, um, a translation, left 1. And then we'll have, this one's going to be a tricky one, y equals log base 3 of 3 minus x. And what's going to be tricky about that is we've got a negative, which is a reflection, but it's on the inside. So that one definitely is a little bit tricky, but I will explain the not-so-trickiness. And then we'll have y equals log base 3. You know, I've got an x minus 2, but I'm going to say x, and then I'm going to put um, plus 2 right there. Plus 1. Let's make it plus 1. So that's going to be a little bit different than what I was planning, but we're going to do those three in the next video.